Yeah. What up, so, guys? We got Joey here. He's about to tell us a story. He's been making music sales. What you got, Joey? Yeah, so what happened was I, I collaborated with a few different people, and we made this mental health album from artists from all over the world. You know, submitted their lyrics. And then so I went into this call today, and um, one of the ladies in there has a show called Rise and Thrive, and she recently asked me that she, she wrote songs from 13 years ago, and she had been sitting in her closet. So I took three of them, and, and, she, and she fell in love with them, and um, she paid me – uh, she she sat on them for like a month and then she hit me up like this week and was like, will you make me a custom intro and outro on top of the video we already have? So I just pasted the song that I already made. And uh, so, and then, so she was like, and I'm, I'm going to pay you for that. I'm going to, I want to buy the album. I'm going to introduce you to these people that are doing a mental health program thing. So, um, so yeah, I went on there and I put instead of, so my suggestion is, if, I mean, like, yeah, it's great to get views on Spotify and Apple and, and uh youtube and whatnot but like if you're trying to like actually make some money you know share that spot share that amazon link you know because more people shop on amazon i think than they do well i don't know i shop a lot on apple but i don't shop on spotify you know what i'm saying like so so share that share that amazon link wow that is but really smart i'm gonna start doing that forever now i know right <laughs> me too <laughs> I will never share my other links. Like, that's what's up. How much was the album sale? Uh, it was like nine fifty. So, what? Yes, yeah. dude. Yeah, two of those. And um, she's. I got a call with her at two thirty today, and um, she's gonna. She's bringing on a guy who makes movies and has wrote two books. And I'm gonna try and we're trying to pitch the guy, this older guy, gentleman that I that I've been helping for a while. I'm trying to pitch him somebody to help him write a book and make a movie. So that could open a lot of doors. We'll see. Wow. Well done, Joey. Heck Thanks, yeah. Man. Man. Yeah. Heck yeah. And look, who else we got? We got John, Will, Rene, hey, Rennie. Hey, what up, guys? All right. What's up? I never met. I don't think I've never met John. Brand new here, man. Happy to be here. Yeah. Good. Nice to meet you. What's, yeah, your guys, what's your deal? Are you new to the program? Or are you making music? What's the deal? Uh, creating AI stuff with one of Jeff's good friends. Got a bot that, as far as I know, no one else has seen. So it's doing some pretty incredible stuff. You were, Joey, you were talking about wanting to write scripts and stuff. She can, I can, I've got her, uh, we can create modules lightning fast for whatever, for whatever specific task we want to do. Then she jumps back in and right and is absolutely amazing. mind heck yeah. yeah so you cool. do software development john what's that software development is that where you're at uh where i'm at right now yeah dude that's, that's what i say in our text i was a custom home builder for the last 25 years i've been doing this for like a, two months so but building things comes naturally and i did that my entire life so putting all this stuff together really comes naturally. Where, where do you live at john colorado northern colorado okay that's what's up. Where are you guys at? I'm in Texas. I am from the land of the corn, the home of the horseshoe, Indiana. <laughs> you have to in Vegas? Yep, I'm in Vegas. What up, Randy? What up, Will? Hi. What's going on, guys? What up? How are you guys doing? Way to show up, man. Heck yeah. Yeah, I've seen, uh, I've seen all your posts on this stuff, and uh, I had an idea recently I wanted to flesh out, uh, other than the one I talked to you about, about putting some uh, informational videos together for my law firm. And uh, I figure you can probably scale that pretty quickly if you're using kind of the AI avatar video system and also with uh, generating scripts uh, for the different topics. And it seems like if you went that way instead of being on camera yourself you'd be able to really scale up and and do a lot of videos pretty quickly so uh i'm interested in kind of exploring that with uh, other people who work in the space and just see what kind of makes sense beautiful yeah beautiful. some of the tools are definitely crossing over because i do insurance so i've made a lot of videos in the past um but in the past, I used to do like I had a marketing team and they would record me and then they would have 
put words and edit them. And it's like, now I can just do everything literally myself. Like they would write my newsletter, my email copy. So I've been using like Jeff's software to do like image generation, create my newsletters, like create like all kinds of things. I'm still using other tools too, like CapCut and it puts the words, but it's like, it's really awesome. I mean, my music videos that I'm doing are like, 30 minutes for me to create a song, create an image, create the copy for YouTube, create the little video, like upload it. It's like master it. Like it's like 30 minutes. I can make one. <laughs> so <It's> ridiculous. <laughs> stuff is so fast. And then yeah. the music for the videos, like I've made a lot of YouTube stuff in the past for just random things. And like, I always had to like find royalty free music or buy music or buy like music for podcast intros. And now I can just make my own, so it's much easier and more cost effective. <laughs> yeah, sure. Yeah. What about you, Rennie? What do you What are you been up to, man? What you working on? What brought you here? Today? Hi. Um, I'm interested in this AI stuff. Actually, I have a faceless uh, YouTube channel, but um, I was using a few tools and making these videos. But I would thought that maybe your tool will be helping because I don't want to depend on maybe four or five tools to make a video. So maybe if your tool will help me make the videos, it will be good. So I can stick to one tool, one or one or two tool maximum. That would help me. And also I was interested in this uh, AI music. So um, thinking about doing that streaming stuff and all. So that's why and uh, I just moved to Canada now. I was in Dubai. So I just moved to, um, so I have a break now. Maybe up next week I'm starting my work. I'm basically working in healthcare sector. Uh, so I also needed the AI for my data analysis and I'm a Forex trader also. So I'm thinking how I can maybe utilize AI for making my analysis. Maybe if it works, let's see. That's what's up. All right. That's so cool. Way to join guys. So it's, it sounds like you guys all like AI is an interest, but you also do these other things, right? Which yeah. is. Mm -hmm. That's my life, right? I've realized, like, I build websites, right? That's my quote unquote day job, right? I build websites online and we help nurses and doctors build their website. Well, my, basically my, my idea of my, my retirement idea is this YouTube stuff that I've been thinking, right? The YouTube and music, right? Like literally like in software, right? These are things that I could build once I could create once one time. And then I could set down in the rain, right? They're little cups that collect views, collect like royalties, collect streams. Joey figured out a way to make sales on, on other things. So in my YouTube descriptions, I'm going to start adding my, not my Spotify link, my Amazon link, like that, you know what I mean? And so I'm going to start changing up how I do my YouTube. So here's what I've been doing. Um, if you guys ever checked out that book, it's called Atomic Habits, right? At first it's been sitting on my shelf where I'm talking like five freaking years, you know, like I haven't read it. However, I just started reading it. And it's interesting because I thought it was going to be something different. I thought it was going to be like, here's some things that you need to follow to make a better habit of your life. But that's not what it talks about. The, basically what it talks about is little tiny things that if you do every day in the moment, they will add up over time. Right. So Julia is talking about her YouTube channel. Right. And, and like Joey's talking about how he we used to send our Spotify link. Well, guess what? Now we don't, we're going to just from this call, I'm never sending my Spotify link again. I'm only sending my Amazon link. So if you think yeah. it, it's just I was like last week, I found that Fiverr thing where the guy was selling the pack of tracks, the same tracks he made, he was selling them over and over again. And you added it to your offer on your music visualizer. <laughs> and it was like, all these little things were like collaborating. And it's like, okay, let's do this. You made money on this. How can we do this? <laughs> yes. So here's the thing is you might be working on this and it, and it kind of looks like sometimes it's like, all right, like think about this, right? An ice cube boils or, or like melts at 32 degrees, right? Anything it goes to 33, it starts melting. Well, if you sit an ice cube on a table and the table is 25 degrees, and then if you increase the degrees by one degree, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, and then stop at 31 and you never get to 32, right? So that means you never continue going. You never keep making your next video. You never keep making your next song. You never keep pushing for that next bit and you give up before the ice cube ever melts. You'll never see the results ever. 
right? And so sometimes you're pushing on it and you're like, I don't understand why this is not working. I don't understand why I haven't made a sale with music. I don't understand why the YouTube channel hasn't got millions, right? Like, and then you don't push out as hard. You you give up and you're, you're in this valley of like, you don't understand that this incremental 1% difference of just something like so simple as, wow, I've made an album and this whole time I've been sending out my Spotify link, but now I send out my Amazon link and all of a sudden I'm making money. You just make that small 1% change and then all of a sudden it, it makes you money. But it's you think it's that small thing. Everybody else on the outside sees, wow, Joey made a million dollars from Amazon. He made his first sales. Oh my God, right? Like that, they see that on the outside. But what they don't see is- We're celebrating for $9. <laughs> oh, heck yeah, man. Because guess what? That's proof that it worked. Because some people, I promise you, have you guys met people that have been doing this music thing? Because I know I have, that have been doing this music thing for 10 plus years that haven't made $9. Yes. Do you see how Joey, everybody else has, they're, they're right at the 31%. They're right at 31 degrees, but they haven't sent the Amazon link. And if Joey just says that one thing, it's like, dude, you've been hustling. You've been working on your game. You've been working on your beats. You've been working on your sound. You've been working on a build an audience. And if you just did this different. Yeah. And it's that 1%. So if you guys, okay, I'm keep doing this every day. I'm working on, I'm working on it. And I, it doesn't feel like it's gaining. No, no, no. It's heating up. And you just don't know when it's going to break. Well, you and saw so what I said yesterday, like I had my lo-fi channel going all weekend while I was out and I had like one viewer, which was probably myself because I had the browser open. So I was like, okay, nobody's tuned in. So I stopped it yesterday, like yesterday morning. I put a different thumbnail on it and then I looked an hour plus later and I had seven people watching and I was like, okay. <laughs> and then I saw you, Jeff post that you were able to test the different thumbnails in YouTube now. Oh my God. All right. So <laughs> like, I don't know. I don't think everybody has this feature, but I'm going to show you guys in a bit because I'm going to break down like pretty much what I've built. Right. So I, I believe in software development and here's, what's cool is I made it where <clears throat> I have, I have a user. He just signed up for my AI team this last week. He literally has been messaging me. He's like, bro, I have a PDF of nine, 10, 18,000 plus radio stations. It's in a PDF though. So he can't get the emails from the PDF to his C like a CSV to import into his, his software. He literally was like, dude, like, I just can't get it from that. This well here, check out this message, right? So this is why I believe in software development. If you guys see inside, remember I talked about the code snippets last week, right? Well, this guy is, I wouldn't say he's not technical, but he's a music artist. He joined my AI team to make music videos, to make those. He didn't join to become a software developer. However, yesterday, right? He, he goes, he goes, hey, like, he goes, it worked. He goes, I created a PDF to CSV export. A fucking genius. <laughs> Literally. So he created this inside my AI team just by typing, I need a PDF to CSV converter. And it literally <laughs> built him the software right into my AI team. Like he, he he's not even using, that's not even why he signed up for the software. Right. So I believe like the speed that we're able to create tools, right? Like to create things. I believe the coding is absolutely fantastic. Here's the reason why is because I believe you could do an absolute massive amount of with code. That's why I gave you guys a little quick way to make snippets. Snippets are the base of foundations, right? He just created that little converter. Well, he now is able to get all of those CSVs. And now he has a service where he's going to do email blasts for your music out to radio stations. That's <laughs> That's his own little service. Well, guess what? He also has, if you want, if you go to the internet and you try to find PDF to CSV converter, good luck for free. You know why? Because I looked, he looked, he's been looking for months. You know how much he realized like, oh my God, my money. I know by then he could have paid someone to data entry. Oh <laughs> 1000%. <laughs> but here's the thing. He has, he has 18,000 on one PDF and then he has 
eight other PDFs for college radio stations, all of these different things. Like yeah. he has a ton of like, and he was just, it's part of his record label that they were given, but he just has no way to use it. They're, they expect them to call them and message them slowly. Email them one by one. Yeah. <laughs> No, nah, we're in, we're like, we're well, that website you showed me. What was it? Code, code pen. Was that the one? Yeah. Code pen. So, and I found, so for my job, you know, I could do like cold calling, cold emailing and finding prospects and shit like that. So when he was telling me about that website that you could get ideas, I actually found like, like my company will purchase zoom info to get this kind of data. I got a quote as an individual for Zoom info. It's like $12,000 for the year. And it mm. breaks it down by like industry, number of employees, revenue, titles, and gives you emails and all this stuff. This freaking software for one time, $59, you get access to all of this data and they up, up refresh the contacts once a month. I'm like, that's good enough for me. And then built in, it has like automated email, like it has tracking, it has like all these tools and I'm like, this is like amazing. And I started getting some activity, like I started running it and I was like, wow, this, yeah, this is cool. awesome. So there's going to be a lot of tools we can use or build or whatever. 1000%. So I'm going to show you guys the one I built this last weekend. Has anyone of you guys seen the text to video yet inside my AI team? I haven't, I've just seen your, your results. That's all I've seen. I'm just <laughs> Yeah. Okay. That's what's up. Okay. So here is what I've been right. Rennie, Rennie just talked, he has a faceless YouTube channel and how do I, I was essentially doing the same thing, right? Like I'm trying to grow these YouTube channels. I love the idea of faceless YouTube channels because I can have any one of us help me grow a channel and I don't have to yeah. be there. Right. I could literally be anywhere and you, I could just show you how to do it. And then I could just give you access to my YouTube and then we're a team. You know what I mean? Like that's what I could do. And here's what's cool is how do we monetize the long term? Well, if you guys are using my software, well, most likely you'll put your affiliate link in the description. Then we can monetize it. If it goes to a million, woohoo, we're freaking, we're all partying. You know what I mean? Like that is the goal. Like I'm trying to make it a win-win. Here's how we're going to do it. So check out what I've created this last week. Okay. So um, this is this is my ai team okay so if you guys didn't know i'm gonna refresh so i was making dinosaurs i don't have my kids until tomorrow night so i'll show them the dinosaurs tomorrow all right so um that was a little preview okay so here is here is what happened okay so i we if you guys go into the ai images we have um basically the models okay so you guys could click the drop down well one of the newest models is text to video Okay. And text to video gives us the ability. I was making one image at a time, like one clip. Well, here's the thing is if you're going to make like this thing could produce anywhere from a two second clip up to a six second clip. All right. And now here's the thing. If even at a six second clip, 10 clips is how much that's 10 clips. I have to click this button 10 times. Oh my God. Like, that's you know what I mean? Like this stuff adds up. All right, so here's what I've done. All right, so here's what you could do is this is this image model or this text to image model uses stable diffusion as what I've discovered. It uses stable diffusion as the underlying video or image model. So that means you kind of have to craft the prompt, right? So if you guys remember, like if you go into Dolly 3 or in the new stable diffusion 3, right? Like Dolly 3, they don't require much prompting. You could just type in, I want a Tyrannosaurus Rex, and it will make a really cool Tyrannosaurus Rex. Well, if you type that into like, like stable diffusion and you just say, I want a Tyrannosaurus Rex, it's going to produce the most ugliest looking Tyrannosaurus Rex ever, <laughs> right? Because you really have to craft like Tyrannosaurus Rex interacting with human. Like you see how this is like a really detailed like prompt right down here, right? Like this is the prompt, right? Tyrannosaurus Rex interacting with human high-tech lab, holographic interface, curiosity with eyes, right? Like this is a really detailed prompt that actually generates a full scene. Okay. Well, Sometimes that's a lot of work. So here's what I've done. All right. I've done a lot of work behind the scenes to make this work smoothly. So now what we could do is let's just say we had like, I like to do top 10 lists, right? So let's just say we top 10 dangerous spiders, right? So if I typed in Black Widow, right? Black Widow uh, spider, 
Well, I could, and that was one of my dangerous animals, right? I could do text to video and now we could have number of clips. So you could do one, three, five, or 10, right? I like to do 10 because YOLO, right? And then length of seconds, up to six seconds. However, I personally like between three and four. Why? Because I feel like it just kind of looks a little bit better. You know what I mean? Like you don't need, like I like it multiple clips flashing between them because then it's like when you put it all together, it like looks really cool. Like there's a lot of scenes, you know what I mean? So I like to three or four, you could decide. And then you hit generate. Now here's the cool thing is this is going to do two things. One, it's going to generate you your first image of just your Black Widow or your, your first video of the Black Widow spider, right? So it's going to do this. Look at that. Boom. Here we have a Black Widow spider and it's freaking moving on the thing. Like that is so cool. All right. Now here's what it's also going to do. In a few seconds, it's also going to send ten, nine more. The AI took that prompt and made it super cool. And now we have nine different movies that are queued up and they get generated in about 15 seconds. For each one. And each one is its own little like. It's an incredible piece of software you built there. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. For still there you go. I like the, uh, the robot one, the robot. It yeah, like, this is scary. Ah, uh, it is scary. That's creepy. Yeah, like and so, so, <laughs> the, you know I mean? so this is literally popping up. And you could here's what I like to do. You have black. I like to input like let's just say I'm making a top ten list. I like to input all of my things. So I'll input Black Widow. Then I'll input you know like um, uh, what is this? Let's say death dark frog i don't know what that is but that's a thing all right and then i'll hit generate and then i'll as soon as this one is done generating i'll have like a notes i'll have all my notes and i'll literally continue just to go back and forth with death dark frog death you know um death uh squirrel i don't know right like all right see my all the new people are gonna see that i don't know how to spell oh, man. <laughs> all right okay so and then here's the cool thing is you could chew those up and literally it's going to generate those while you're doing this. So you could literally make 200 clips in a few seconds, like in a few minutes. And then you go through and you go through all your clips and now check this out. Okay. Frogs are cute. I like frogs. Right. Look at that. Right. And then you could do most top 10 dangerous frogs or top 10 most adorable frogs, right? Like whatever you so choose. And then here's what I've been doing. I went over into this, why these clips are generating I went into our AI chat. And I have, a, I have a chat that I used to write scary stories with, okay? If you guys don't know how to set these up, go to the, your companies and you could add new company. And once you add a new company, that will tell you like, what do you want your company to be about? What are all this? Well, I like to do stuff also for fun, right? So, so I wrote a scary story generator. That's a scary story like AI chat. Well, here's the thing is what I've been Why doing. Why aren't you publishing all kinds of books by now? Oh, I, uh, I'm, uh, I, you're right. I got a really good idea that I was going to use your 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 software for because we were out at one of the local like farmers market type fairs where they set up all their booths with, and one had like some paintings, but some were just like prints. Like they had literally created like a Texas Longhorn sitting in a field and a lavender field because there's a lot yeah or blue bonnets the blue bonnets here because they're big here and they just made it all like a flat Texas flag. I was like, I can generate that, and then I could just sell those prints. <laughs> You're you're one thousand percent right. <laughs> like this is so silly. <laughs> right, and here's the the reason I created. If you go into the stable diffusion or any of the Dolly three, the reason I have the upscaler, the refine and upscale, where you could upscale these images, is because when you need to put it on prints, you need it to be eight thousand by eight thousand, right? And so now you could refine it and scale, and then you have a beautiful big size image for that. You could also remove the backgrounds because here's what you could do. You could sell clip art and all that stuff on Etsy and then it's a digital download. And not, now you're not just selling the prints, but you're selling the pieces yeah. that people buy too. And so, yeah, I have a mass, I had a training that was so last year for me. <laughs> the reason I didn't pursue it is because, I mean, I mean, I like things that are fully hands off and more digital, right? So that's where I'm progressing. I'm progressing with that 1%. And here's where I've gotten to. So here's what's cool. In the end of this, check out. Okay, so this is this is what the end product that I created with this, okay? So 
one of the things I did is I, I quickly made a music video, right? I took a, okay, let me show you guys this. Okay, so let me not try to jump too far. <laughs> so let's just say we had this and I, let's just say I had a cool song about black widows or squirrels or, oh dude, like these ones are cool. Look at these demon squirrel things. Look at that. <laughs> You saw this thing, like you'd be like, "Oh my god!" He's got a death dart. <laughs> He's got a death dart. <laughs> like, like this squirrel is like, dude, I will fight you guys over these nuts. Like, oh look at this guy. Oh my god. <laughs> All right, so I was having a way fun building these things. All right, so I think there's two things. I think there's one. There's something called creator bias with AI. So I think maybe people think our baby looks really cute. Right. So I just, I think that might be a thing. And then two is they are really fun. I think people love these. I got, I got some reviews from the, the, like some people that saw my video. They're like, they're like eight years old and they sent me videos and they're like, we love it. These are our things. These are what we want next. And they were geeking out over it. I'm talking. Oh, I know. About I, can so, see eight, I can see eight year olds like that stuff. <laughs> oh, yeah. And so, I mean, it was cool. So I was. Just, for everything. All right. So now check out this. So here, let's just say we had a song um, about uh, Black Widows. Okay. I could upload and I could check these. You guys see these little check boxes? I just added these. All right. So th this is the check boxes. Okay. So I added these little check boxes. I'm going to clip all of these or click them. And if I had a song about Black Widows, well, what now we could do is you see where it says merge clips, merge video clips. Okay. I'm going to click that. And then I could upload an MP3. You don't have to, but you could upload an MP3 and you can make it like, right? So I have this MP3. This is actually a, a six minute audio. So here's the thing. You see how I only have a couple videos and this is a six minute audio. Well, here's what you could do. This right here, you could loop audio if needed. So loop audio if needed or loop videos if needed. So if you have, if you don't want to sit there and make a hundred videos for your one thing, you just want it. Maybe like you just want the oh, same. You just saved me so much time. You know what I you mean? You know what I do? I go into CapCut and I put the stupid three second video and I copy them over. And yep. then I put the audio track. <laughs> So Julia, you could also, here's what's cool. What I realized. You saved me like five minutes. <laughs> inside, you know how you do that? You know how you do the text to image and you do the animate and stuff? Well, you that's still considered a video. So you could merge those videos inside these clips also. This is what I do. I take the one and I just do that three second loop over and over again with my song. Yep. And so look, now you hit merge video clips. Oh, that's so it's nice. Thank you for and making so, my life a little bit easier. You're welcome. All right. So now look, it's so it's gonna do that, and then now it puts it all together and it now puts it right there. And then you just download it and then you upload it to your YouTube. Oh, this is awesome. I'm make another video today. <laughs> <laughs> and now here's the thing is now you could you could you could stitch a couple just like you're doing those stitching. You could sti stitch a couple. Look, it's done in a couple seconds. Yeah. yeah. But re remember that thing I showed you? I think I yesterday I pasted you from YouTube or it wasn't from YouTube. It was actually I think from the blog from the YouTube promotions thing I was using. Um, where they, they mentioned like um, repetitive con duplicate content or whatever, and even yes. like saying like they even mentioned low fly girl, yeah, as streaming over and looping. So it's like, how much do you really want to like repurpose, you know? Oh, a thousand percent. Well, so that's why this isn't considered repurposing, this would be considered original content. You know, because you're actually putting in a hundred percent original content now. You're not you could queue up. So here's the thing is you could make those videos. Let's just say you had like 13 lo-fi girl videos. Yeah. Well, you could merge them in a <laughs> in here. And then now you put you made an hour-long track inside an hour-long video, and then you just upload that hour-long video, but you could stream the hour-long video live. Right. There's the premiere and publish thing possible too, you know, where it premieres live. Right. So that might be even a way. Do you have, live. can you do multiple music tracks in these or just the videos? Um, like where it's like where one after another or. Yeah. So what I would do is make your first video and then make your second video and then make just merge those two videos together. You know what I mean? Will it merge the audios automatically then? Yeah, absolutely. So just, it will, it will just add, as long as you don't add a new audio, 
just merge uh -huh. those two videos together, right? And then it will add whatever's on those videos together. Hmm. I'll try and that. Then now, and now you just merge those video clips together. Hmm. And so, yep. And if it doesn't work, let me know and I'll update the code. <laughs> yeah, I'll make it work. I will make it work. And so, yeah. And so, um, because this is the process, right? I want to continue. And my goal is because yesterday when I, I, I ended up going into CapCut because I wanted to add the words onto the page, onto the video. Well, everything that I have to go outside of my software for, I'm eventually going to build into my software. Okay. Yeah, so if, if you, find, if you find yourself to like, ah, oh, I keep doing this, you know, I need to add the lyrics or I, whatever it is, write it down. Yeah. Add this. Yeah. Part. The lyrics would be huge, Jeff. That would, that would. Yeah. That's been on my mind. Your website more. <laughs> I say that again. It would keep us in your website more. <laughs> that is the goal. Hotel California, baby. <laughs> Once you come, you can't ever leave. Okay, so so here's so I have this, right? And then I went to um I was in CapCut and I was putting them all together, right? So here's what's cool. If I refresh this, it, this is the goal, okay? I want to continue to get one percent better. So make your videos one percent better spend a little bit of time but you guys see this right here this is the goal every single video i put out i want a one of ten <laughs> that's it this is my robot wave and like here's what i do sometimes you I, I promote on my social media i promote but lately i've been getting one of tens that is the goal okay like just as many as i can and i have a couple channels rennie is probably kicking my butt on this faceless youtube stuff that's what's up <laughs> Like I'm trying to learn from him too. So I'm trying to like, whatever yeah, I can do. Just give us all the advice. <laughs> I mean, so this is, this is where I'm at with this. So now check out this is I have another channel. It's called AI generated, all AI generated stuff. At first I was doing AI generated, like nightmare fuel style videos. So that's like one of my videos. I have two videos. One of them is Elon Musk eating fish and it looks really freaky. And then another one is Elon Musk eating toilets. Okay. So my top content on this channel is like, you know what I mean? Like, let's see. Right. So Elon Musk eating fish, 34,000 views. And then Elon Musk eating toilets is at 29,000 views. Right. Well, this is just like, this was when AI version was like really, really bad, but it created really cool, interesting stuff. However, I believe AI is starting to get good enough where some of these like top 10 videos like all these top 10 channels they did it copyright through. copyright <laughs> right they have all these copyright they have video that oh yeah on this one you see that like this is this is you can see when i started getting like upset with this like i was like come on like this is ridiculous i'm uh -huh. like i was like all right i gotta find a solution you know what i mean like i don't want to be ai music and these ones all have ai music on them and if you look at some of the comments on these ones it's weird people like People are asking, what's the song? And it's the weirdest music there is. You should go publish it and then post your Amazon link. <laughs> You're right. Oh, my God. Right. So, but people like love watching these little creepy little videos. But this is, I, I think this is far beyond this thing. So here's the thing. My latest ones. We'll go to this last one. Um, what I've started doing is I started basically finding channels that are actually going viral that actually have massive amount of views. And then how do I just replicate that, but using my own style in the AI. Right. And so I created, I created one, my son absolutely loves dinosaurs. So for me, I created the most dangerous dinosaurs, the 20 most dangerous dinosaurs. Right. And here's what I did. If you guys see this, this is just, right i actually have i used the clips and then what i did is i went over into another so you're right I, so this is where i did okay so there's two things that i went and over did to another software that i'm ashamed that i did all right so i went one i went over to 11 labs all right so 11 labs uh for the voiceover okay so for the voiceover and then two i went to cap cut um to put it all together okay so how is that voiceover tool I, I was gonna check it out but i haven't yet uh how how is uh 11 how labs is, like 11 is labs? the speech good yeah let me let me show you guys where i actually oh what up troy what up sorry i'm late dude you showed up yeah. better late than never man absolutely there. I, I got that other ai 
course thing going on too. So that's what's now. it's good, good to be here. I couldn't miss it. Awesome. All right. So here's what I've done in this video. Okay. I'm going to, I'm going to play it so you guys could actually hear it, but there's two, there's, there's a couple things that are in here. Okay. One is I use the AI, my AI team for the video. Then two is I use my AI team for the script. All right. So if you guys look right here, I said, give me a top 10. Literally, here's what I wrote, right? This is my, this is my say, give me a three minute intense 20 most dangerous dinosaur YouTube script. And then it said, sure thing, boss. And then it did it. And then it had all these notes. And I said, and then I said, uh, down here, this is pretty long. I said, remove any notes. And then it did. And then I copied this exact script right into the AI, right? Everything else it was, I was using something else, right? And then I copied this exact script right into 11 labs. Okay. 11 labs. The only reason I haven't added 11 labs into my AI team is these guys are selling. Like you guys see how I use this character quota and then I have 10,000 like quota right here. This is $22 a month. And I use, I only generated three scripts so far. Like, so this is quite expensive as a, like a user. Like these guys are using this software as not like, Hey, you could put this in your software. Yes, they have an they have an API, but they are not trying to like make it where you could like resell their software. Like that is, they are like selling whole like full dealer price. Like this is crazy, you know. Like like it's crazy. Like there's no cut, you know. So like it's it's really expensive from these guys. So I'm just gonna have to find a new model that could make the style of videos. However, when you hear the voice, so when when you hear it and you put this together, if this is your style that you want to do. I ended up making the script in there and then I downloaded the script and then I put it into CapCut and then I had CapCut add the little like, uh, add the like captions to the video. So here's my thought. I want to continue to get 1% better with making my videos. That's my goal. If I could keep getting 1% better, I eventually, I see people with faceless YouTube channels where they make 30, 40, 50, $90,000 on video, a one single video. Yeah. And they're outsourcing this to somebody else. And I yeah. get the idea of outsourcing it to somebody else. However, I'm personally just not in the position where I can outsource it to somebody else. I have AI and I have me. <laughs> right? That's who I have right now. Do I have, like, will one day I have people? Sure. However, I like to work lean. I like to have a few people. I like to have partners. However, right now, like, I just don't want to, I'm not hiring someone. I want to learn the process to know how I do this right. So then if, if somebody wants to hire me, well, bet. I, 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 look, I made a $30,000 video. Let me, you know what I mean? Like I want to own that proof so I could say I did it. Okay. So there is a, yes, I could hire somebody. That's awesome. However, I also want to learn how to do it. So I'm hireable. Does that make sense? So you could decide which path you want to go. If you're balling, go hire somebody. Or if you have more money than you have time, then do that. However, I have more time than I have money at this moment. So <laughs> guess what? I'm going to learn how to do it, and then I'm going to sell it as a service for the people that have more time. Okay? So I, guess, uh, I was using the um, tool called uh, Pictory for this. Okay. And, what's up? Uh, so that's where I am uh, generating my faceless uh, video. So no. Pictory does, it generates according to my text, it generates pictures for me. And uh, I use another tool called Murph, M-U-R-F, Murph.ai. Mm. So it generates videos for me. So I am able to do this caption, what you're telling the caption and all this. So, um, and to write me the content, I, I was making this uh, writer.me. That was these three websites I used to do and I, I used to use together and make videos. Very cool. And how has your yeah. how has your channel been so far with that? What's what have oh, yeah. I just did it as a um, uh, side hustle, and uh, it has um, I had um, got my monetization and everything, but uh, then um, uh, due to some health issues, and then I was moving country from Dubai to India, from India back now to Canada, I am. So I, I I had a break, but now I have to come back in. That's the reason. Even I thought I can use your AI. So that's the re reason even I got into this call, actually. Awesome. Heck yeah. Sorry, Daniel, yeah. I'm now just talking to him. Uh, we were just uh, on the call. My I got a uh, call from my kid's school. So that's the reason I got disconnected, actually.
Sorry. Nice. Well, I'm glad you're back. Glad you're back. <laughs> All right. So here's what else I did. All right. So I had a, my AI team write the script. Then if you guys, then I had the voiceover in CapCut. And then I had the, I put all the stuff together. And then also I made the music for the video in Suno. Okay. So in inside here, right. I actually made, now here's, what's really interesting. I made this music, this music I'm talking is cool. This music is really, really awesome. I can see people wanting to use this in movies and all of this stuff. So understand we are in the sawdust business, okay? In the sawdust business, not in the YouTube faceless channel business. If you if you pause and say, okay, YouTube faceless channel is a service, what needs to happen to make a YouTube faceless channel? Well, you need music. Well, if you don't, if you need music and you're sitting here creating music for yourself, you probably should sell that as a product to other people. Which we discovered last week. We discovered last week. And as I was doing this, I'm like, wow, I need cool alien music that for these intros. And I'm like, how many other people are going to be behind me that are one day behind me that are going to need this tomorrow? If I just sell, hey, it's ready for you. You just have to go and download it inside the Google Drive. How many people are going to say, wow, you just saved me five minutes, 10 minutes of this? I'll take it. You know what I mean? Like, and then I, the, how much is that added up over a month? I save them because they don't have to do this music part. They just have to go in there and pick the song that they like. And it's already done. Well, everyone that has a thumbs up, look how, how look how often I'm thumbsing these up. Everyone that has a thumbs up is I'm downloading and I'm putting it into my Google Drive. Every single one. That's like every single time I press the button, it's, it's a full call. Those are like, I mean, weird alien music. Like, if you guys listen to this, That's, I don't think we can hear it. Yeah, I hear it. <clears throat> How do I make this when it shares the song? That is so anti-climax. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Let's see. Present audio. It says presentation audio. You guys couldn't hear it? Yeah. It says I have 14 people watching my live stream right now. You have 14 people? Hey, could you drop the link? All right, everybody drop the link in the comment and everybody, if you want, pop that stream up and then let's see, watch what happens. It's like, what? <laughs> I just restarted it like an hour ago, right? That's what's up. I think sometimes restarting it is like. That's the secret. The secret. All right, so 16 people watching. Look, it's all going to go up in a second. Like, <laughs> uh. Yeah, that's what I was saying the last call, kind of like with real estate, right? You, you, you do a, a, a price change or you take the listing off the market and put it back on so that it reignites interest. <laughs> Sorry, I put it on subscriber only chat. Oh, no, you just made me subscribe. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently, I wasn't subscribed on this channel, you know, so. <laughs> well, maybe under like one of your other channels, but yeah. All right. Oh, look, now you have 18. All right, let's go. All right. So, okay. So here, then I created the movie. I used the sound and then I stitched it all together. All right. And then I brought it into here. Yes, your screen right there. Okay. Okay. So then I stitched it all together and I made a movie with it. Okay. So here's what's cool. I'm going to play the movie so you guys could hear the like audio and you guys could hear everything put together. This is the idea. Okay. If you want to try to adapt this to one, a faceless YouTube channel for yourself, a service for others, and then two, three, figure out how to use this for your business. As I'm doing these videos, I promise you, I'm thinking of my wife's business because my wife's like her business made three hundred eight thousand dollars according to our taxes last year. Right, we owe twenty thousand dollars on that tax, that money. Like, we had to pause our accountants. I'm like, dude, like you guys are getting fired for a minute for this. Like, what the frick is this? <laughs> like, what is this? <laughs> right? Like, I'm hoping the government collapsed way before I have to pay my taxes. <laughs> right? So, however, if I have to pay it, how am I going to pay it? Well, I hope these YouTube videos pay off real fast. You know what I mean? Well, the way I'm going to make it pay off is by using the, my links in the description. Okay. 
and putting my like putting out these videos okay because someone's going to say how did you do this and they're going to want to click on it right they're going to say how did you make the music they're going to click on the description right like these things are all part of the process just be youtube views are a, just the tip and here's my idea every time you have a youtube video that gets popped off social proof is a big thing sharing that and be like hey look this video just got thirty thousand things well guess what how many people saw that if you guys saw that thirty thousand views and you guys are on this call now well guess what like that shows social proof of hey success of this thing shows that people will like listen to you because it's like oh wow something that they're doing is working how did they do that well guess what if you continue to find something that works and you don't give up right remember that valley of despair of where it's like nothing happens until the ice cube melts well, that's where this is. Sometimes the videos aren't right. Sometimes, you know, the stream, right? Juliet's stream, you have to restart it, right? Well, then now you have 14 freaking people that are like watching, but that adds up. What happens if they watch for one hour, 14 people? That's 14 watch hours every hour. That adds up so freaking much over time. And I promise you, you're just going to get 1% better. Look at this, like this. This is motion. This is cool. Like I, I dig it. You're, you're continuing to grow, right? Like this. Is okay. So this one, I was having trouble like generating a cool AI uh, motion video in yours. So I ended up taking the like effects in cap cut. That's what's so up. I don't know if you have like an effects like type option that you can build into your stuff onto the images. That's cool. <laughs> I mean, Cause they do that on like TikTok videos too. And like, like you'll take an image and they'll put effects on it. Yeah. That's a really cool idea. Yeah. Um, and now here's, what's really cool is that effects might be a micro SAS that you build and you find ways that could, people could add effects to videos. Right. And then you make that a little like AI snippet, you know, I'll figure out a way to make it where we can add that. And then maybe we'll have effects. Effects and transitions are one of the things that I want. In yeah, the video. and then the text on the video, for sure. Text on the video. Like, those are my dreams. Like, as soon as we have yeah, those, have like, like, it's going to be awesome. I okay, mean, you so already saved me time now. Now I don't have to stitch all manually all the CapCut videos. <laughs> all right. So hopefully you guys could hear this. Um, and if not, I'll just send you guys the link so you guys can watch it on your own. No, we still can't hear it. Don't hear it. You can hear it. Just paste it in my channel. Uh, okay. Can't hear it. All right, bummer. Okay. All right, there you go. Or if somebody wants to share their screen so I could hear it, that'd be cool. And then maybe, maybe for some reason, things just not working. So Troy, I actually thought about you a lot during this because the type of music that you like that when you, you have like your the the Smokey the Bear I put out. Yeah. Stuff. This is like perfect stuff for this. You know what I mean? Like, come alive. There you go. Today, we're counting down the top 20 most dangerous dinosaurs that ever roamed the earth. Get ready for a bone chilling journey back in time. Top 20 most dangerous dinosaurs. Number 20, Carnotaurus. With its devilish horns and razor sharp teeth, this beast was a force to be reckoned with. Fast and furious, it hunted its prey with terrifying efficiency. Number 19, Baryonyx. Armed with a massive claw, this fearsome predator was a master of both land and water. Imagine the terror of being hunted by this dual threat dinosaur. Number 18, Utah Raptor. Bigger and badder than its famous cousin, the Velociraptor. The Utahraptor was a pack hunter with deadly speed and agility. A true nightmare on two legs. Number 17, Spinosaurus, the largest carnivorous dinosaur with a crocodile-like snout and powerful arms. It dominated both land and water. You wouldn't want to swim with this monster lurking beneath the surface. Number 16, Allosaurus, known as the different lizard, this apex predator had a powerful bite and serrated teeth capable of slicing through flesh like butter. A relentless hunter of the Jurassic. Number 15, Giganotosaurus, 
Rivaling the T-Rex in size, this South American predator was a colossal carnivore with a terrifying bite. One look at its jaws, and you'll know why it was one of the most feared dinosaurs. Number 14, Velociraptor. Made infamous by Hollywood, this small but deadly predator was a cunning hunter, using its sickle-shaped claws to deliver fatal blows. Speed and intelligence made it a lethal adversary. Number 13, Carcharodontosaurus. Named after the great white shark, this monster had teeth as sharp as a shark's, and it used them to tear apart its prey with terrifying precision. Number 12, Mapusaurus. This massive predator hunted in packs, making it even more dangerous. Imagine a coordinated attack by several of these giants. Pure terror. Number 11, Majungasaurus. With its short snout and powerful bite, this predator was a top hunter in Madagascar. But what made it truly terrifying was its cannibalistic tendencies. Number 10, Deinonychus. This fearsome raptor had razor-sharp claws and a powerful build, making it a deadly hunter. Its name means terrible claw. A wow, there were a lot of dinosaurs. Such a predator. <laughs> I thought there were like five. <laughs> Torvosaurus. The savage AI lizard generated, I know, was I know one of the largest you. predators of its time. And these are just a terrifying. Skull. Terrifying. Yeah, <laughs> yeah well, where are the ones that babysit? There it is. <laughs> Here's the ones that babysit. <laughs> yeah, I think I read before when I was doing research mm -hmm. on these faceless YouTube channels, like, you know, like you said, lists are top 10 or top 20 or, you know, those are our popular ones to make a video on. Man, I think if I was in real estate, you know what I would do? If I was literally in real estate today, I would literally make top 10 most beautiful places to live on earth and make videos of this. That's all I would do. <laughs> yeah, okay. I'll, 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 that's a good idea. Yeah, the top places, uh, most beautiful, uh, most affordable, I don't know, the, the water, yep. mountains, all those. Yep, and I would, if, if I was a local realtor, Troy, I would start with Colorado. Oh yeah, for sure. You know what I, mean? oh, I would wow. literally start with every place or top. I would literally just do top 10 Colorado videos and then right. just do videos of every single place in Colorado. And then here, now check this out, right? This is where, this is where this becomes, this becomes important, right? Because let's just say we just had this idea and let's just say, we say right here, right? We just say, um, Colorado, um, uh, real estate. Where are you? Yeah, and, and, and because I missed the beginning, the, these are faceless channels. Yes, this is. These are faceless channels. He and made that whole thing face. with like um, AI, like the voice. Oh You're my! Right. God. What part of Colorado are you doing real estate in? Colorado Springs. I'm from. I live out in Los Angeles, but I'm from Colorado Springs. My mom has a large office in Colorado Springs. Oh, nice. I'm from Orange County, California. I live in Johnson. I've been a builder and developer up here for 25 years. No way, you're in Johnstown? Yeah. Oh, wow. Okay. He's part of developing Windsor and Water Valley. All right. Well, well, we, I don't we, have my angel's hat on, but I was born connect. in Orange County, so. <laughs> <laughs> born an Angels fan. All right. I have my Raiders hat on. One of my. All right, am I spelling Colorado wrong? This is ridiculous. I, I don't know. You spell everything wrong. What All do you right. Mean? Well, it's. Yeah, have you installed your voice <laughs> version yet, Jeff? Last year, last week, we talked about how you needed to install a microphone yeah. on all of your prompts because you can't. Type, this so. is so ridiculous. Laugh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm the exact same way. Thank God for spell check. <laughs> It just doesn't work for me half the time. Like I'm spelling it so incredibly wrong. It's like I don't know what you're trying, bro. <laughs> yeah. So Troy, here's what's cool is that at the beginning, right? At first, we were making one clip at a time, and I'm like, this is just ridiculous. So I made it where you could do a drop down, and you could make up to ten clips at a time, and you could make up to six seconds in a clip. Okay. I like the three second ones. I feel like they're a little bit more interesting. However, you could make all of them here. Here's what you could do. Instead of words, you could. I, I, can't, I can't see your screen. Let's see. I wonder if I oh, could see. like revitalize my crypto girlfriend channel and start. There you go. Posting crypto.
faceless videos again with AI. Yeah. Okay, so, right, so go again. So okay, so here is the new the new text to image or text to video. Uh -huh. Right. So if you go to the AI images, you have a little drop down and then you have the text to video inside your models. Okay. Well, I just typed in Colorado real estate, and then you can type a number of clips. Okay. Right? And then you can pick in, you could do one what? up to 10. All right. And then you just hit generate, and you could pick in the length too, up to six seconds, three to six seconds, right? Uh -huh. And then it's going to generate. Well, here's what's wow. going to think. It's going gonna, it's gonna to make you one, like one clip, and then you see this little bar up top that's loading. What that does, AI is recrafting your prompt, and it's, en it's enhancing that prompt to make a better, better prompt for you. It's talking to itself? Yep. And now it's making, it's taking those things and it's saying, oh, you want 10 of those? Well, here's 10 prompts that's going to make Colorado real estate a way better, interesting video. And then wow. it makes those clips for you. So you're going to see. So you see how this one, I just typed in Black Widow, but really it says Black Widow camouflaged against the tree bark, extra detailed. So this is the prompt that actually created this video. But really all I have to do is type in Colorado real estate and you're going to see in a few seconds this video is gonna pop out the actual, like a super cool different clip than what we actually, you see how we typed in death dart squirrel? Well, this is death dart squirrel, ancient runes, chest in the background, right? It creates a much more interesting prompt because that's kind of what you need to do with this model. However, I don't, you guys don't have to do that every time because I just made the AI do that for us, so. All right, now check this out. This is Colorado real estate. Right, and now imagine you have text and images going over this and you have different, all these, like right. this was just the word Colorado real estate. You could see how it doesn't create the most interesting video. Well, now we're having 10 other videos that are popping out Colorado real estate. Look at this. Right. You know what I mean? This yeah. is stunning luxury modern cow Colorado landscape. Well, now you can put this in a video that talks about Aspen. Right. You know what I mean? And now yeah. you can say call to action with getting in touch. Right. And then it's all of these video clips put together. That's epic. That. That's great. Look at these. I like, like look at these. Really cool. You know, so like these things are freaking awesome. Like, you know, like these are flyovers of houses that you like don't yeah, exist. That's, look, freaking, look. that's so, sweet. Wow. But are those that's real sweet. houses? They're not real houses. No, these are real houses. Look, this is a real horse. Look, look at this. This horse <laughs> merged itself into us. <laughs> yeah, how many legs is that horse have? It's real. <laughs> right. So this is. But you can see how it crafts these prompts, right? So now all of a sudden, look, this chair moves across, like that's part of the upsell, right? Like, like, yeah. <laughs> I mean, so you could now have like a top 10 Colorado, like top yeah. 10 real estate in Colorado, and it's all of these clips playing over it. Right. And then you have the music in the background, and then you have the video, right? And now you have a call to action. If you guys want real estate, message us here. Right. right? And now you're using these videos for your business, okay? So try to merge your guys' businesses. Also, don't be scared to start a whole channel that is completely separate from your business while you're learning. Quick on question, how to do this. Jeff. That yeah. voiceover that you got from whatever oh, yeah. is how what was your process? I don't know if I might have missed that for putting the music and the MP3. Did you just kind of add it over the video? Like like after like because you added two different things, right? You added music and you added the voiceover. Yes. So inside CapCut, right? This is kind of where CapCut is a little bit more advanced, okay? Okay, so, so you did it in CapCut then, okay. I did it in CapCut, okay? So okay. right now I'm still using a couple tools, right? I'm not yeah. there yet where we're fully, fully getting there. So here's what I did, right? In CapCut, you could essentially have, you could have your songs, you could have your like lyrics, but you could also add multiple like, audio in layer right, right. audio right so that's okay. really effective all i do is bring my i make my music over in suno and then i download it and then i have all of the crazy all of my videos inside one thing now right so i download each clip from inside of like inside my ai team right now i would download the ones that i want and then i would bring them over into CapCut. and then i would also download my 11 labs and bring it into CapCut. download my suno and bring it into CapCut. So for right now, everything's in CapCut. However, in the future, everything will be inside my AI team. Now, here's what's cool. If you guys, one of the things that I also added that I also added because one day we're going to have the ability to make full-blown songs in my AI team. 
I'm just preparing yeah. for it, okay? So in the meantime, I added one of the things that we're gonna need for this is one, you can make 30 second music clips, okay? Super easy. That's just your little soundtrack audios, like lo-fi beats. You could do that thing in here. Also though, you can do sound effects now, okay? So you can do little sound effects. So like, this is like little birds ch chirping with video games, you know, like, you know, and so, there's a whole bunch of little things that you could create in here that you might want to use in your movies to make it more effective, right? So you could use those, download that, and then add it up into your guys's video. So, well, wow, that's cool, super cool, good job. Yeah, you you you, you constantly impress me, Jeff. I know it's constantly something right? new. It is. I mean, seriously, it's like, it's like it's like Christmas every Tuesday and Thursday. See, eventually, eventually what's going to happen is we're just going to have a, a, a voice prompt because Jeff can't type. And we're just going to tell it to make us a video and include voiceover, include, and it's just going to make it for us. Like, we won't even have to do anything. <laughs> we're eventually going to get to that point. <laughs> yes. What's really interesting is the, the goal would be one day to output this exact video. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like I'm talking like what what you just said, exactly what you just said, Julia. That is my vision. And that would be kind of cool where it's just what you just said, where it's like literally like you could generate a top 10 list video and then it will output these clips, output the reel. I don't think I'm far from that. I just think, I, I don't think so either. Like honestly, yeah. I think I think <laughs> you're getting I think we're on to I'm not gonna be able to sleep again for a week, guys. <laughs> <laughs> show you like so some of my old crypto girlfriend videos and i'll show you a link i used like the b-roll type stuff but what i did was i took like chat gpt back then made a video script i actually video like recorded it myself the voiceover and then you use like b-roll and you use things like cap cut for this sync so it's like i don't even know like i mean there's services for like b-roll i don't know if there's also a way to like insert some b-roll video into your videos like i don't know i mean that's not technically yes. AI generated so i don't know if you would necessarily have that in, in your system but yeah i mean there is ones like kind of how like pictori does Pictory yeah. does it where it like uses B-roll and I I like those. However, my thought is I'm trying to go to, like I'm trying to skate to the puck, right? So yeah. it's just like, I see that AI video will one day be able to produce ultra like B -roll, right? <laughs> well, I want to make sure that I have the editor in place and then all I just switch out version three. Yeah. You know what I mean? And then all of a sudden it's like- I could go and try to make remake some of these crypto videos or make new ones using the AI stuff, yeah. you know, and see what happens. That's what I think. I think there is a, I think though there is a lore, there is a like, I like, like, just like I just showed you a few seconds ago, like that little, it's like Colorado and it's different scenes. I think that there is a, like a marketplace in a sense for that, audience like there's an audience just for this style where it is today you know what i mean i think that there's people that will still watch those videos where it is today and then every day from here on out it's only going to get better so this is going to like the videos are going to get better the the quality is going to get better everything is going to get better from here on out and so now it's going to be like okay i think i'm going to make it where we met what's what do you got Troy? No, I was, I was just going to say, yeah, that's exactly it. What it reminds me of is how I tell myself, but usually it's telling other people is involve people in your journey, right? So you you do you do that, you show how it's progressed, then all of a sudden you have a package of the progression. Hey, look at how this has come. So, I mean, it's it's always, yeah, I just think that it's, yeah, it'll remain there, it'll be watched, and it'll always have value, even though it's getting better. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm digging this stuff. I'm going to keep working on making it better. I'll probably make it where we could just one push button generate. That sounds fun. Because <laughs> here's the reality is everything that I've done pretty much can be done in a single output re reality. Like we could oh, make yeah. it where I could do all of that. The only thing that we're maybe missing is the song and stuff. But I feel like 
I could figure that out too. You know what I mean? I could make it where we could do that too. So. <laughs> Heck yeah. Um, John, uh, just because Colorado connection, I put in the chat, my phone number. I, could, I couldn't figure out how to send a, oh, a DM yeah. through Google uh, meet. Yeah. <laughs> We're all so friends it's, here. <laughs> it's, it's, yeah. uh, John used to build housing. Aren't you in Colorado too, John? Isn't that what you said? Yeah. Some of the houses you were showing on your video, I built some monsters like that. Yeah. Three thousand square footers. Did yeah. two different sides. Did gigantic cut them. Is it still it expensive cut. to build? Because I know it got really expensive to build. Oh, I I retired about a year, year and a half ago. But mm. yeah, it's it's gotten ridiculous, insane expensive to build. That's part of why I'd had enough. Mm. You're, you're 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 retired, and you said Johnstown. I haven't been in. Well, I mean, we go to Colorado all the time. I'll be there next week. But John, Johnstown is is right there by Castle Rock, right? Between Craig oh, and Castle no, Rock. So this is uh probably is that half from Boulder East. Yeah, up seventy up seventy. Or about Denver. Yeah. I was getting confused with the other one, but yeah. I'll text you real quick. Three hundred. Yeah. So great Where to see everybody. Home? I grew up in Costa Mesa. Oh yeah. yeah. I'm yeah, I'm in Marina Del Rey. I've been in LA since ninety two, but I grew up in Colorado Springs. Oh, nice. Both my parents are from the South Bay. Yeah. yeah. I worked in Torrance for a while, so. Yeah, yeah, right. Exactly. My mom lives in Buena Park, so my dad's, my dad's still, he's in the Inland Empire, but he he works at Angel Stadium, so. That's what's up. And, uh, yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to Jeff, <clears throat> get Jeff to come visit later this year, this summer. Yeah, bring, awesome. bring the family and come out to, come out to Los Angeles. Escape the heat. <laughs> well, yeah, that and Maria Del Rey is nice, real nice. Uh, yeah, it's beautiful. Love it. I know. I need to get like an artist website up. I was talking to you about that a little bit, Jeff. Um, so I, I, I'll tell the other guys. So when I was at one of our local hangouts in town, it's like a brewery with an outdoor area, and they have bands and stuff and food trucks. So my friend who gave me the lo-fi idea he we were looking there having a beer and there were stickers all up on like businesses i put stickers up on there and i'm like he's like you you should put a lo-fi lady sticker with the qr code and have the, the her the picture but then i was also thinking it would be cool to have one for my christian edm band too to put there saved by sound and have that maybe point more to like a website or something you know um, where they could buy my songs or whatever, <laughs> stream them. <laughs> yeah, here's so what's I interesting. Like, I was still trying to decide. I'm like, do I want to set it up as like the Beat Star one, like you had mentioned and you did, or do I want to do it like uh, the Aspire Builder? I don't know. Yeah, here's what's interesting it. is I at first I set up a Beat Stars, and I think Beat Stars is really good. I really do. I just feel that it's not as dynamic as I want. I don't know. Like, yeah, there's a lot of sell, like merchandise, apparently, you know, eventually, which I think you can. Yeah, like, I like that I could do yeah. that. I like that I could do that on BeatStars. You could sell merchandise. However, what I don't like is I don't like that I can't change like, the layout, the words on the page. Yeah. I can't change the layout. I can't add links to my other products. Like, I can't build on top of the site. And, like, yeah. for me, that's like, there's a lot of times like I just want to write a sales page that says, Hey, like right now, this is what you get, you know, and here's the offer. And so like when I'm selling the music stuff and I want to sell the access to it, yes, beat stars does that, but also it's really inconvenient to have to try to like figure out. Well, yeah, And if we've already it. published it and it's on all the other distributions, like if we just had it already a template of all of the places that it distributed and yeah. put in your links or whatever. Okay. It's like they're. So like, I think you still better go back to building that template, Jeff, if you haven't. <laughs> okay. All right. It's, and then we like, have the affiliate link for building more for you want on your own artist page, then your wife okay. can make money again. <laughs> it's, it's like Beat Stars isn't giving you any, selling you any sawdust. They're not selling me any of that sawdust, man. So, so I'm going to have to sell my own sawdust, you know? So, okay. So thank you, Juliet, for snapping me back to reality. All right. <laughs> My wife will probably appreciate that too. She's like, oh, so <laughs> Juliet told you. 
But when I say it. <laughs> Isn't that how it normally goes, though? Yeah. Like when your kids, when you, when someone else tells them, yeah. they listen, but when they, you, they, they don't listen to you. Yeah. So, yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right. Yeah, so. that's good. I think, because I think that's what I, I think it would be cool. Like for me, like I know a lot of DJs and producers. So if I had that, like, affiliate link to build them a cheap website like i could make some money in my okay. dj streams or whatever i'm doing <laughs> all right so that will be um i think that's going to be my new number one priority because i think that's actually like what i kind of already promised you guys initially and i think that like guys if you guys don't understand my wife helps nurses and doctors she made the month that i lost my 15k client that i was paying 15k a month she showed up and made $25,000 selling websites. <laughs> the rock star. Just selling website templates and all this stuff. And, and that it's just selling it. Like, so like to, for me to ignore something that's so freaking works. <laughs> like, and I'm talking aspire builder is extremely easy to build on. So you guys just need a template that you guys could sell and use, and then you guys can make money with that. And so, yeah, I feel like that would be a really easy way that we're ignoring. I, that's the reason I went to BeatStars is because they conveniently had a website template that was already ready, right? Yeah. However, it just didn't fully meet my needs. So let's build our own. So, okay. Um, I'm going to take care of that. And then uh, I'll let you guys know. I'm going to screenshot it. Let's take a picture. And then um, uh, I'm going to screenshot this. Everyone here live gets the template for free. So I love you guys. Heck yeah. Mm -hmm. All right, I'll see you guys soon. Talk talk to you. Bye. Love you. See ya. Bye. 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 -bye. Bye, -bye. Oh, I gotta cancel the recording. <laughs> Play it again. Bye, Trevor.